Today I've got a brand new BAM box, but I actually do not know if this is the horror box or the pop culture box that I don't know yet. But this was shipped back to me on September 6th. So I, I would have gotten this around the middle of September. So I've had this for a little while. So I am i don't know if it's horror pop culture, but this would be like the September, I think, box. And the size of this looks like this actually might contain a Funko Pop. Maybe. And also in this, we're actually going to do the... Let me... Let me grab it. The Zendini box that is uh, sent to me uh, as a as a courtesy from Zanini. So let's do the Zanini first. How's that sound? So this was actually shipped on October 16th. This would be their October bag then. I think I actually have. I think I actually have last month's. I think I have September's bag down there. Also, I don't know. I have a mound of stuff back here. I think I actually have last month's bag too, but this was on top, so we'll just do the October bag. Why not, you know? Man, okay. Here we go. So the Zanini box is a monthly subscription service where you get monthly pins. So we've got, okay, so this is actually, this is a combined box. This is October 2019 and November 2019. This has a dual thing. It actually has spoilers of actually who's in the box, so I probably shouldn't have shown it yet. So as Zanini, you got your basic plan, three pins, eight bucks a month. You've got four pins a month, 10 bucks. You got five pins a month for 12 bucks. International, you can do 10 pins for $24 every two months. So uh, looks like this is the five pin version so this is the premium for 12 bucks a month so it's like a little over two dollars a pin you're like 225 a pin ish here we go first one what we get oh cool that's a neat one freddy krueger zanini box pin okay first one freddy next I'm not sure that's upside down or not and it was oh cool Jason Voorhees. My favorite uh, kind of like movie cinema serial killer is Jason Voorhees. Friday the 13th. That's a neat one. Next. Oh, it's looking at me. We got uh, Louis Kang. Is that Mortal Kombat, I think? I think it's Mortal Kombat. Like the video game. Okay, next. Oh, looking at me again. I saw G.I. Joe. Oh, that's a cool one. This is Flint from G.I. Joe. That's a neat one. Next. Oh, I pulled out two. We've got Mumra. Uh, which game is that? I'm drawing a blank. I'm actually not, I'm not hundred percent sure which one that is from. That pen. Then this one's awesome. Doom. I remember this game first came out on PC back in the like what, late 90s or something like that. This game on the PC was freaking awesome. Of course, now if you go back and play it, the graphics are terrible on it. But back then, it was it was incredible. Next. Oh, huh. I keep pulling them out like the wrong way where I see them. We got Captain Marvel. We got Carol Danvers. That one's awesome. And how many more we got left? There's still three more in here. Next one. Splinter. That one's neat. From Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Splinter. Next. <laughs> There's two more. Oh, I looked at it. We got Harry Potter. That's a neat one. And the last pin in the November and October Zanini box. Who we got? G.I. Joe. We got Storm Shadow. That one's really cool. That actually might be my favorite one. So that's what we got. That is all 10 pins from the October and November Zanini box. So huge shout out to Zanini box for the care package that they sent to me. And yeah, these are awesome pins. So make sure, check out their website. Make sure to leave a direct link down below to the Zanini box. If you'd like to get yourself a subscription, you can get five pins for 12 bucks a month. Like it's not very much money. And if you like pins, might as well check them out. You know what I'm saying? Now, here we go, BAM box. We're about to find out if this is, um, 
pop culture or horror. I have no idea which one it is. Is there a pop in here? There's what's on top. Is there a pop? Yes, there is a pop. There is a pop. Okay, awesome. We got a signed pop in here. Here's a monthly pin. I'm about to find out if this is horror or pop culture. Oh, that's um. Ooh, that's actually a uh, limited only 99 made. Oh, I'm drawing a blank what movie that's from. I see the picture, I see it, but I'm just drawing a total blank of what that's from. Once I see the cheat sheet, I'll be like, oh yeah, Clint, you should know that. This is only 99 made also. That's actually like the limited uh, pin. Here we got, it looks like an art print. You ready? Who we got? Oh, that's cool. We got, we got Pennywise. That's neat. Numbered 860 out of 2000. It is actually signed by the artist down here in the corner. We got a Pennywise from the book and the movies It. That's Q. Then we have a coin. Obviously, this is the horror box. This is the horror box. I'm not sure this coin goes to. I'm kind of drawing a blank. I'm not sure the camera's focusing on it or not, though. Hopefully, it's focusing. Both sides are the same. I'm not sure what movies that's from has good weight to it that's really cool so this is a prop replica from a movie but i'm gonna have to look at the cheat sheet later to see what that's actually from because my mind right now is not functioning properly here we go last item we've got a signed funko pop in here obviously it's gonna be a horse we got something to do with a horror funko pop this is going to be fun okay it's actually in a seven bucks a pop pop protector. I can feel the thing on top. Uh, actually, there's also there'll be a direct link also down to seven bucks a pop. If you want to get a pop pop protector, they're some of the best in, in the business. You can get a 100 pack for uh, was it 60 bucks shipped? Not a bad deal. You ready? Sign Funko Pop. Three, two, one. Oh, I see Child's Play two on the back. Whoa. Okay. I looking at the signature. It says E.G. Looking at that, I have no clue who signed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a pretty weak autograph. The top has who signed it. Let's see. This Funko Pop has been hand signed by Ed Gale, who played Chucky in Child's Play. It was signed during a private signing for the BAM Horror Box. It is guaranteed to be authentic. Okay. So looks like uh, the original guy who played Chucky, I guess probably the voice of Chucky, I'm guessing, is Ed Gale. I'm not 100% sure. There's the authenticity card. But his autograph, man, that's really weak. He just signed it EG, just his initials. I kind of hate when people sign stuff and it's just like initials. I mean, at least put in like, it, like your first name is Ed. Your last name is Gale. But honestly, I won't be keeping this signed pop. Not really. I'm not even sure who Ed Gale is. And the autograph on it is so kind of weak that I honestly, I I really don't want it. So I will be selling this pop. Um, I do collect signed pop, signed collectibles. But I don't collect everything because some things like this, I just, I don't really want that. So that's kind of a letdown. It's kind of a letdown. But uh, here's a cheat sheet. So, let's see. That pin. The newest terrifying clown to the horror genre. I'm still... It doesn't say who who the clown was. I'm, I'm drawing a blank of what movie that clown was from. Still drawing a blank. The coin. Annabelle comes home. Fairy man. Prop coin. Oh. Uh, I, I had no idea. So, that's from Annabelle comes home. So from Lord to the Big Screen, we bring you one of the Ferryman coins. Now you can make your passage where you need to go. Okay, so that was this BAM box. I think this is like 30 bucks a month. I think pretty sure that's what the price is, like 30 plus shipping. Honestly, I mean the pop by itself, the pop costs 10 bucks. The autograph. Yeah, I don't really know who Ed Gale is. I probably should, but uh it's probably worth about what 25, 30 bucks. All the value of the box is actually in this pop. Whenever I sell this, I'll probably ask $30 for it whenever I actually sell this. You know, like what I 
you know and then you got in you've got the art print and you, you've got the pin so all together value i'd say in this oh and, and then you got 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 the prop coin Value's probably about 50 bucks all together. We, we take all items, about $50 in value. So it was worth what I paid for the box. I just wished at least his autograph's a little bit better. That's it's really, really weak autograph. Just EG. But anyway, if you want to check out the BAM box, I'll, I'll leave a direct link down below to the BAM box where you can subscribe to the horror box or pop culture box. They do have signed pops in a lot of their boxes. Direct link to the Zanini box. And I'll also leave a direct link down below to... Seven bucks pop, pop shield, pop protectors. You can buy protectors just like this. So I'll see you next time and I'm out.